And I just told the guys that we just got to keep comparing and controlling what we can control. Uh, the result we put out there is not what we wanted. Uh, obviously, it's, we have a bitter taste in our mouth as competitors, but we have two more games to play, and we have two more games to prove to ourselves what kind of team we really are. Definitely. Uh, it's not easy to watch that film. But you just have to realize the mistakes you made and just grade your effort out there and get better. All you can do is get better from here. Um, when you hit rock bottom like that, <laughs> there's nowhere else to go but up. So you just got to keep guys motivated. Well, really, with the mistakes we were making, they weren't things that are just mind-blowing and things that you can't get fixed. So as a, as a player, you have to, to be able to man up, watch the film, and uh, evaluate your performance and just put a better effort out there when you get to practice the next week and practice better because practice habits lead into games. And uh, all you can do is just, is just wait to get to practice and, and develop and get better. And they're going to run the ball a lot. Wisconsin ran the ball a lot. And uh, after watching that film, uh, I would imagine that they're going to try to duplicate and replicate some of the things that Minnesota, uh, Wisconsin did. So it, for them, it looks like a, a recipe for success. So for us, we got to fix, fix the little things that we need to fix. You just take the coaching. Uh, all you can do is take the coaching. We, we've proven that we, we know how to do things correctly. The first 20-something plays of the games, we were doing things correctly. So it's not like we can't do them. And when you watch film, you see that you did something right the first time, and then you see where you messed up. You know as a player that you're capable of, ma of making the right, the right, uh, taking the right steps to, to make plays. So you just can't get demoralized and think that, oh, it's late in the season. I made this mistake. I can't fix it. When you put on film, um, good results. Uh, we just weren't rallying to the football enough. You can't put someone in a one-on-one -on -one space with a good back and give them 15 yards of field to work with and expect one person to make that tackle. You got to rally to the football, and early in the game we did, and late in the game we didn't. So it wasn't that the tackling was just poor. We didn't have enough hats to get into the football. Uh, it's just a true test of, of what you've been through in your career and, and uh, what you can put out there in the field. Uh, you get one last game to play Memorial Stadium. You only get so many games to play out there. And the last game in that stadium is just is your opportunity to show yourself and everyone what kind of player you have been over your career, your four or five years here. And the result that you put out there is, is ultimately what you're going to live with for the rest of your life. It hasn't hit me really yet. Uh, people have brought it up and asked me about it. But as far as my feelings toward everything right now, I'm just kind of taking it day by day and just trying to get to this next game and get ready to practice tomorrow and get ready to get better as a player. I'm sure when I hit the tunnel, it'll hit me then and there, and I'll be able to reflect then. But right now, I'm just focused on uh, being a leader and uh, bringing my teammates up and making myself a better player. Uh, Jay Cotton stepped up in the meeting yesterday and said a few words. And uh, majority of guys that, that have been through something like that before, like myself, uh, Cooper, Amir, that we were there in 2012 in that game, and we didn't put the performance out there that we wanted to put. So. We just were talking to the young guys, letting them know that it's not the end of the world. You know, they have time to to fix that. We all have time to fix that, but you don't want to get to the end of your career and just just let that one game define you for the rest of your career. So we're just preaching that to the younger guys that haven't been through something like that before. I would say it's mental as far as if you're going to let yourself just quit. But really, when watching the film, it was a lot of technique things that we did early in the game and then I guess as the game got on we got comfortable and thought we could do things our own way and when you try to do things your own way this game will humble you fast and when the uh, when the ball started rolling and they started getting momentum we just weren't making any plays to to get any momentum back and when the momentum shift is completely to one team it's hard to to bounce back if you don't gain any of it at all I can't speak for the offense because I wasn't in their huddle and and on the defensive side, we, we just stick together. But from what I saw from my teammates on the defense, wasn't that guys lost their confidence. I didn't see guys out there that just had their heads down and looked like they couldn't do anything. Guys were motivated, and, and they wanted to go out there and, and keep trying and try to put, on a good, put out a good performance. But it wasn't, it wasn't rolling for us. We weren't doing what we needed to do, but guys weren't giving up. They didn't quit. And I don't think that guys lost their confidence. I just don't think guys were executing their technique. I think that when we went up 17-3 to and we created the turnovers that we created early in the game, uh, yeah, there was a little bit of comfort maybe, 
because you feel like, oh, we're smacking in the mouth. It's going to be easy, and we're going to keep make, we're going to keep doing the same thing. And then when it flips on you completely, like it did, it didn't gradually get bad. It just got ugly really quick. Uh, there wasn't much momentum for us to have, and when you take the field, just to go out there and think, don't mess up, then you're not going to make any plays. Personally, no. Uh, I don't think we should. I think that they stand for something better than what we put out there on film. And I think it will kind of just be a disgrace to the, to the former players who, who earned the right to wear them if we went out there and warmer practice this week. I think that guys thought, don't be, don't be the one to make the mistake that get, gives up a big play. And when you go out and you take the field with that mentality, or I'm going to be the guy that makes this super play, then you, you can't play football the way you're supposed to play. You just have to play within your technique and execute the game plan you're coached to exec, the, the way you're coached to execute the game plan. And when your mind isn't right, you can't play football the way you're supposed to play football.